What's going on everyone? Anthony here with AC Toys and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Hasbro's Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Marvel's Legion. Um, if you guys weren't aware, for whatever reason, Target were shipping these guys out uh, this week actually. And for whatever reason, they only got Legion in stock. None of the other way, uh, figures in this line uh, was out with it, so we didn't get... Um, Magneto, Rogue, Cyclops, Sabretooth, Shadowcat, or Iceman. For whatever reason, we got the last figure in the wave, Legion. Uh, but while we're back here, obviously, you have the uh, little artwork right here of Legion himself. A little bio of Legion. The builder figure in here is the Age of Apocalypse Colossus. Uh, yeah, some nice artwork on the side. Window box display. Uh, legalese at the bottom a nice age of apocalypse logo at the top uh, so we said we'd go ahead and crack this guy open and see how cool he actually is all right and here we have legion out of packaging uh but before we go ahead and take a look at this figure what do you say we take a quick look at his accessories uh because he basically only comes with an extra set of hands uh so he has his kind of like open like menacing posing hands going on right here that comes on him out of packaging and then he comes with two closed fisted hands right here. And that is basically it. Uh, I guess if you want to count this as accessory, he does come with the right leg of uh, Colossus. Uh, but other than that, this is all you get with Legion. Which is kind of disappointing why we're getting him first. Uh, I would have much rather have like Magneto or Cyclops. One of my more personal favorites of the Age of Apocalypse character come out first. But it is what it is. Uh, Target got him first, so they start shipping him out first. Uh, so what we have here is a Legion, and if you're unfamiliar with this character himself, he is basically the character that started Age of Apocalypse. Uh, this is Charles Xavier's son. Uh, he goes through like an accident or whatnot, and like he goes through like psychotic break and has like multiple splits personalities or whatnot. And then basically he's told that, oh, you know, if the world had, like if Professor X had his way, the world would be a much better place, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and for whatever reason, he took that as like, okay, that's his mission to go back in time and kill Magneto. So then that way Charles Xavier can focus on building his X-Men uh, without having to fight Magneto. Uh, so he goes back in time, tries to kill Magneto. Professor X jumps in the way. Uh, he kills Professor X and that starts this whole what if scenario. If like, what if the world didn't have Professor X? And, well, you know, read up on the story. That's enough of that. But that is this character. This is Legion, his son. Uh, this is a very generic, very basic character. He's basically in his, like, you know, iconic blue, I wouldn't even call it a jumpsuit, just basically pants and a t-shirt. Um, he does have his, like, really, really outrageous hair. Uh, they toned it down just a bit. I feel like it's drawn a lot taller in the uh, comics and i also feel like his arms are drawn a lot lankier and longer in the comics so but obviously they weren't going to make a whole new set of arms just for this character alone so but it's not too bad i mean sometimes he's drawn looking normal sometimes he's drawn looking like he has really long arms uh but other than that uh it is basically just the blue suit his skin tone the blue uh pants have a nice black wash or shading going on throughout same thing with the shirt so you kind of have some darker blues up here uh kind of gives off uh, almost jeans like a, a washed type of look uh the, nothing on the back for whatever reason they basically just skimped out on the washing on the back so it's all the blue plastic right here uh skin tones a nice skin tone pop off the head right here it is a nice looking head sculpt uh i don't know if it's just me uh, but it kind of looks like Hugh Jackman in a in a manner of speaking. Not like dead on Hugh Jackman, but I don't know. Kind of looks like him. What do you guys think? But yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like it's really basic. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean the feet are done very nicely. Uh, there is a bit of a paint smudge right here on his face. Uh, so that is a little bit of a drawback but that's just on my figure i don't assume that's the same paint smudges on everyone else's a uh, little bit of like messy paint going on right here around the ankles uh yeah other than that i mean really actually does kind of bother me that there is no wash on the back and it's like it looks really good up front like it just came straight out of the comic uh but then back here they just kind of like yeah whatever no big deal i guess you don't pose them like that but 
they are raising the prices on these figures, so they might as well give us a little something extra. But yeah, so that is basically it for this figure. Very basic, like I said, no accessories, no real uh, details on him as far as clothing goes. Uh, so what do you say we go ahead and jump into articulation? So as far as articulation goes, he is your standard uh, male Marvel Legends. He does do full 360. He has a barbell uh, head joint, so it will rock very far side to side. He can kind of get those iconic, like evil like oh, not evil but like just kind of like menacing type of like so i wish they would have gave him like the full like la maniacal laughing face instead of this weird smirky one uh, but it will go side to side very far uh we'll look up about that far look down a lot further full 360 obviously and like kind of like you know like that move a little movement like that <laughs> Night at the Roxbury. Uh, he does do full 360 at the shoulders. No butterfly joints. His arms will go up about that far. So nice right there. Uh, will swivel at the upper bicep. Double jointed elbows. They do still have the pins. Uh, for whatever reason, they're just kind of mixing in pin and pinless. I wish they would just kind of like pick with one. Uh, does rotate at the wrists. Hinges in and out like so. Both hands are hinges in and out. No up and down. Uh, upper ab crunch. We'll go down about that far, back really, really far. Lower waist swivel, we'll do a full 360, no side to side. Ball jointed hips, we'll do the splits about that far. We'll kick up very far, actually. Uh, not too bad back, because kind of like rotate around more so, but like I guess if you're just doing like back, back, that's really all he can do. Uh, but it kind of goes off more to the side once you do that. Uh, let's see, upper thigh swivel, full 360. Double jointed knees, once again, still has the pins. Uh, upper shin rotation, we'll do a full 360. Uh, ankle rockers and hinges go forward very far, up about that much. And then, well, basically a full 360 side to side if you wanted it. Uh, so yeah, that is your articulation on this Legion figure. Very nice figure, and I've already uh, lost which position this ankle should be in. Uh, let's see here. It looks like it should be this way. And then this way. Okay, there we go. There we go. Your basic Marvel Legends action figure articulation. All right, and that is the articulation for this guy. So what do you say we go ahead and jump into some size comparisons? All right, as far as size comparison goes, um, I don't have very many Marvel Legends on me right now, uh, but here he is next to the Age of Apocalypse. Uh, so that is how he scales with that guy. And then here he is next to the Builder figure Sugar Man from the Wave 1 Age of Apocalypse line. So that is him next to these two guys. All right, and there you have him next to the uh, Age of Apocalypse Wolverine, or Weapon X rather. Uh, and then if you wanted to see, here he is next to the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. So yes. There you go. And then just because there he is. And then just because I have him out here, he is next to a couple of Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. All right. Final thoughts on this guy for me is it's not a bad character overall. Uh, I mean, he I mean, I really don't know what he could go for as accessories. Uh, maybe just throw in some more hands. Uh, maybe a different head sculpt. I do feel like for the price increase on these figures, it is a little lacking in the accessory departments for this one figure. Uh, but it is what it is. Not really one of my favorite characters. Uh, I do much prefer to have the Magneto and the Cyclops in my hands. The Cyclops in the Age of Apocalypse line is one of my favorite Cyclops designs of all time. The Age of Apocalypse stories, if you guys remember from when I mentioned it in my Apocalypse review, is that this is what got me into Marvel in the first place. Uh, so to have these guys in figure form really means a lot to me. You guys know I don't really collect all the Marvel Legends out there. I do just kind of nitpick at what I do and do want. Uh, but as far as the Age of Apocalypse line goes, I want them to make as many figures as possible. Uh, I love it. My favorite line. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is it for this review. I will leave links down below on where you can order it. Like I said, mine shipped from Target. Got it today. I will leave links to there. I believe he is actually up for order right now. I'm not sure if it's sold out or went back to pre-order. Uh, but if not, I'll leave links to other sites on where you can get it. And until next time, guys. Later.